Hi guys, I am back and in today's episode of Bananas, I'm going to try to explain and show to you the meaning behind the video and the song Postmortem Part 1, which is the very first single from the new album number 5, Egdesis. Enjoy! First of all, I wanted to uh, explain to you the meaning, the name itself was in a way revealed to me while writing the lyrics. It is um, literally the meaning of the expression itself, something that happens after a big event or a death like post-mortem. It's from Latin and it, it literally means after death but it's still used especially in science and not only but it's still used um, to explain and to and to um, in a way pinpoint something that happened after a big event so like after I don't know a um, big tragedy or after a happy event it doesn't matter it's just something that's still used and I feel I felt like it is so proper and so perfect let's just keep it short and go right away to the lyrics themselves which I have here for you yes I printed them I don't remember them <laughs> by memory yet so where are you trying to go hitchhiker where are you trying to go what's calling you to hit the road carrying souvenirs of better times from place to place to town to town. Let the demons dance and thrive, opening the windows in the night. First, I gotta say that um, I wrote this uh, initially long ago. Um, I was writing lyrics and working on the lyrics for uh, Endorphin, which is our fourth album. And I had this almost done at the time already. I asked Lena to explain us the meaning of the song. Because when you read the lyrics, everybody has in mind different things. And I wanted to be as close as possible to the meaning that Lena wanted to put in the song. A man with dignity and virtues running from the past, anticipating the future or maybe you're lost. This is a very important part of the song because people are very loud about how important certain things are for them and how friendly they are and how giving they are. But really when it comes to that, their dignity and their virtues are so lost and so gone or they aren't there at all, you know? And then running from the past in this specific situation is a person that cannot embrace its past, its roots, uh, its ethnicity, its hereditance, instead decides to run from it or hide from it and anticipates the future like the answer is in the future. The answer is now, not in the future. The answer is here right now and, and we have it. We just have to see it, you know? So maybe you're lost. Exactly this is what um, explains the whole lyric. A lost soul, a hitchhiker, that is in a constant search and values materialistic world way more than the spiritual world and the um, feelings and, you know, just everything that surrounds us. I just uh, we'll move on and try to include you a little bit uh, in the behind the scene uh, of the music video itself. So when we were thinking about the visuals for this music video, we uh, wanted to deliver something that was never shown before. And as, as you know, um, with all of our music videos, we always try to be um, very interesting and innovative and like the majority of our music videos are telling a story and having such talented people as Vidic and Vladimir that know so much about editing videos and filming videos helps so much because they bring such fresh ideas to our music videos. In fact, 
postmortem part one uh, was fully directed by Vidic and uh, the whole editing process and everything was worked with the band. Not only, every single thing that you see in this video was handmade by um, everybody in the band and there, there is no special effects, everything is real and everything is created by us from scratch. Today is December 15th and I am in Moldova getting ready for the music video for the song Post Mortem. And I'm here with my friend Sandy Juliana and she is the magician that creates this super cool look for you. I'll see you later. Elena Crepo cu nos de 10 ani minim și este unul din cei mai creativi oameni pe care am întâlnit eu în Republica Moldova și nu doar. Este o luptătoare. Hai, în care poți face ce vreau. El este deschis la colaborare. Are idei fantastice pe care eu nu pot să le fac la cineva în afară de ea. Mersi. The filming itself uh, took place uh, three days. Hey guys! We are on our way to the first day of filming post-mortem and I have this baby here and I look like a crib and I love it. I love it. What are we doing, Vadim? We're filming a new music video. What's the song name? The song is called Postmortem. Do you like it? Yes, a lot. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. I do, do, do. It's the first day, the first day of filming. Today. How many are we gonna have? Three. Three days? Yes. We, how many are we, we filming uh, while I'm here? Two. And then another one while I'm gone? Yeah, someone in January. Yeah, sometimes in January. First day we filmed everything connected to the cocoon scene and the, the room itself and the cocoon itself. Uh -huh. We filmed it all in the unfinished uh, apartment of our bass player Vova. That apartment is in uh, construction. Seroja, yeah. tell us where where is this location? It's Narnia. It's Narnia. Somewhere in the middle of nowhere. True. However, it has a secret in behind it. In Moldova. I know, but what is this location? What is this? It's uh, our future house, home. Yay! This is a future, this is an apartment under construction that is actually, that belongs to our brothers from the band, correct? Or is it yours? Exactly. Exactly. It's, it's our family. It's the family apartment. And they kindly offered, kindly, <laughs> for us to film here. How cool! Kindly. Kindly. It's their property, so we were able to clean that big room, which I believe is going to be a living room eventually. And we just um, put a lot of like black fabric all over the floor and, and the ceiling and, and the, the walls. Так, он искусственная паутина, из клея. Маловато. Нихуя. 
Офигенно, только желтый. Ну, клей, блин, желтый. Будешь потом прибирать желтый на видео. Да. Вообще очень круто. Keep your butt in warmth. Shoot. New music video. However, I want to show you what's happening behind the scene. My boys are creating some decoration. So cool. Look at that. Look at this amazingness. Serioshka. Hey. You making something pretty? Uh-huh. Окей. О, что это, что это, что это, что это? Это пол мыть. Пол будем мыть дымком, дым, дымочком будем мыть пол. Ого. Аркадий, это ты натворил? Да. Спайдермен. Смотри, у меня этот человек паук один. Человек-паук 2, человек-паук 3, человек-паук 4, человеки, человеки-пауки. Then we had the, the most challenging part was to actually create this cocoon and this, the spider web around the cocoon. We are preparing to film for Post Mortem, which is our very first single from the fifth album. So cool, so amazing. I gotta say though, the lyrics for this song were written way back in the days when we were preparing to record Endorphin, so the album number four. I did a few changes in the lyrics after, um, but I think it's, it's time is now, so. Now that you've seen the video, it's not a secret that I was inside that cocoon and from my perspective I can tell you it was challenging. Oh my god. I thought it's gonna be easier. How difficult can that be, right? But uh, the whole process took more than six hours of me standing there being wrapped in the, um, the spider web the, 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 and, and the material underneath it. And then all the, the cobwebs, the, the spider webs, had to be attached to me. I couldn't move because if I would move, the whole room would come apart into pieces. Можно первый дубль, чтобы ты просто снял, как я не двигаюсь. Второй, я буду двигаться, но чуть-чуть, потому что 
У меня вот сейчас паутина, а потом, когда можно будет уже двигаться чуть быстрее, я сорву паутину чуть-чуть. I had to make sure I go to the bathroom and I'm not hungry or thirsty because I had no idea how long this will take. So honestly, so challenging. My feet were hurting. I couldn't really even talk much. I had to close my eyes. Um, couldn't see anyways. Um, my uh, drummer Eugene kept giving me water th through the straw. It, like, oh my God, I was so, so thirsty because it was hot in there, in that construction <laughs> Yeah, it, it was pretty challenging, you guys, but there's no good result without good hard work, right? So, yeah, I, I felt like you had to know about that. And then, obviously, as soon as I was starting to get out of the cocoon, we would never be able to create the same cocoon again. So we had to make sure that we filmed everything before I started to break it into pieces and get out. Я могу просто поснимать хорошие куски еще, где есть. Есть сложности. Есть болгарка, есть местное, есть место. Так, не дергай сейчас нож. This was insane. What time is it? 5.30. I fucking start, started to put this makeup on at 10. Look at all this shit. I can't breathe. I'm all wet, literally. I really am. So sweaty. It's probably the first music video where I was not cold. I have something in my eyes. I have something in my eyes. Seriously. I need to take this off. Help! That's also very important to do. So in order to do that, we um, had a big list and, and like a, a plan, a screen screen uh, plan or whatever you want to call it in order to follow certain steps in a certain order so you don't fuck it up. So you Нет, это вообще крутой вот, вот этот мне нравится. И он плюс те тоже будет. Ну, на самом деле, вроде материала хватает. Да. So, yeah, it was awesome. It was a group effort. A lot of people were there to help. Even Luna was there to help. <laughs> My baby stays right there. She has a little, she has a little home. A little space. Good girl, Luna. Good girl. Good girl. Initially, this was a very big poem. And uh, when my boys came up with the idea of having two songs, one part one and one part two, I uh, right away thought about um, breaking this specific poem in two parts and make it postmortem part one and postmortem part two. I told everybody about this idea and I asked if Lena can write uh, lyrics or maybe she has lyrics that are uh, connected to each other to make it part one and part two. And we really liked the idea if we would put first song part one and the last song on the album uh, part two and kind of to finish uh, with kind of the same mood but 
different song. And everybody liked the idea and we started working in this direction. I think it's extremely awesome that um, we placed the, the set list of Egdises in the way where Postmortem Part 1 is the first song on the album. And Postmortem Part 2 is concluding the album, explaining and or bringing you back to the first song. Uh, and I love that my boys gave me the full freedom to do that and full freedom to um, write about what bothered me and hurt me at the moment. Vidic will tell you more about the actual process of um, writing and composing this song. It's very interesting. I find, I find it mesmerizing to see how they work and how they put ideas together. Right before going on uh... Uh, European tour 2019 uh, with Alveti and Lacuna Coil. I wrote a song, but it was quite light song, not too many riffs, uh, but I really liked the mood and I was really uh, pushing this song, you know, in between the <laughs> guys. But then we went on tour, then pandemic started, and here we started working on the um, songs for the new album. I mean, the songs uh, were already more or less done. Uh, we just had to collect them to see what we want to record and so on. Most of the time we record all the songs that we have. We don't do this like recording 70 songs and then uh, choose 10 for the album. Because in the middle of the work you can already see if the song is good or not. So why would you write 70 songs? Um, this is kind of our style of writing. So if you write a song, then it's good, you know. If no, then, then you stop in the middle and you just throw it away or get back to it in years even sometimes. Jenny uh, was trying to work a little bit on this song as well and he didn't like the speed. So he said like, let's do it 10 BPM faster and maybe it's gonna be better. He did it, I didn't like it. We were struggling a lot and then we were sending back and forth through our chat this song. And it appeared that we had many different versions uh, of this song. Jenya uh, wrote his version of the song, just left a chorus and stuff like that. I didn't really like it. I also pushed the idea that we have to uh, keep with the original uh, speed and uh, structure of the song. But one riff I really liked from uh, Jenny's idea uh, and uh, this riff is in the song. So it's post-mortem part two actually. And I really liked it and uh, I liked how it sounds and I was like, yeah, now we are ready. And we made it five BPM faster. Now I was happy, everything sounds great and so on. And we were exchanging with these files with Jenny and Sergey didn't know that we are working on this song and he just dropped this another song, completely another song. Uh, and he said like, yeah, it was an idea, I remember, and maybe you will like it because I changed something I, and I wrote another song based on these small elements. And he drops this song and I listen to it and it's like completely different version of the song that we were changing and working with Jenny, kind of exchanging the files and so on. But it had the same vibe and uh, also uh, it had some musical elements that are similar. Uh, so it was a problem now because we had this very nice version of the song uh, by Sergei, uh, based on the song that I wrote and with Jenny we changed a little bit and we had two songs that are um, in the same mood and vibe and uh, we were thinking what to do and then I, I came up with the idea that maybe we can do um, part one and part two because both versions were very nice. Uh, second day of filming was the performance. Vadim, are you excited? I am super excited. Today we film a music video for Postmortem as you already know. And this is the second day of filming and we film the band performing. Very nice. Very nice. was very interesting because 
uh, we rented this uh, cool area, cool place uh, to film it. It was also very dark. However, we had to place the screens that, by the way, were built, they were handmade by my musicians. Everything was made by them and we had to place it properly behind us. We didn't know how many we would need, five, six, I think we ended up using eight, I don't remember anymore. And we didn't, because we didn't know how many we would use, we didn't know how many people we needed. So we invited some people to come over and help. I'm driving now to the second day of filming and if you can see my car is full of um, the gear and Sergey and uh, Vova they're coming with their car full of uh, decorations and different stuff and uh, now uh, it's actually 8.47 and at 9 we, ne we need to meet uh, at the location I need to drop everything and get back and get back some more stuff, uh, some cases and symbols that didn't fit into my car because everything is like a puzzle here. This is a very intense and interesting day because as you know I'm really uh, happy to work on the videos and production for the band and in general I really like working with the videos and for me shooting music videos is Super exciting. Прямо охуенно. Девочка. Девочка красивая, красивая как ты? Иди посмотри. Здрасте. Здрасте. Oh, so beautiful. Я всем девочкам нравлюсь. Луна, Луна. Луна, я здесь. А, сын и тати. Good girl. Самый главный массов. Поменяйся местами с мальчиком а, у твоего лева. У твоего лева. С мальчиком, не с девочкой. 
Нет, так с мальчиком поменять. Да, так лучше, да. Идеально, идеально. Сейчас мы будем. Вот это надо решить. Может, смотри, Адриан, как бы таком поменять. Света! Ты великолепна. Ты то, что надо. Вообще. То, что надо. А какие у нас красивые. Смотри. Смотри, какие красивые все. Адриан, ты как бы тут? Да? Адриан красивый тоже. Я говорил, я высоко, я высоко. Смотри, что тут происходит. На Аркадия, посмотри на Аркадия. А, Аркадия. Всех девочек с 8 марта. Лена, с 8 марта. Что мы сегодня делаем? А, танцуем. Танцуем до утра. Даже не знаю. И видите, был барабанчик. Луна, come here, my love. Луна, baby. О, come here, my love. Come here, baby girl. О, oh, my love. Come here. Посмотри, как раз. Смотри. О, baby. Луна, посмотри, Луна. Да, да, пожалуйста. Главный калитик. Ну нормально, понятно. Луна, как тебе? Аппрув? Ты ее аппрув, мой лап. Дела. Наша замечательно танцевался на славу. Не, 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 наоборот. Что, стать мне надо? Смотри, если Вова там, ну Вова там, по-моему, передос. Не, 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 назад. не, да, так лучше. А еще назад Вова. Вот.
Есть такое более прямое с фоном, но тут я увидел, что Жени нету. Ну, как бы не... Барабаны пустуют, одинокие. Да-да-да. This is actually the cousin, yeah. Vidik's cousin. Yeah. Look at that, look at Looks that. Like, yeah. This is, this is uh, Vidik's cousin and today he was helping Much with better. our music video. He is a very, very, very hard working guy and super supportive of Vidik's, uh, all Vidik's actually music, right? Woo! Yeah. <laughs> Вот Еще стрелы, вот такая тема, чуть -чуть. вот так вот. Армасар Лес Пунчева. Чувствую себя как старые добрые времена. Старые добрые. Тим, Тим Нолли. Even the main character actually uh, uh, was there, which, by the way, that was the day when we decided that he's going to be the main character. We were still in, in search for it, and Adrian was there. He's a good friend of ours. There's one little secret that we just decided literally right now. Basically, the main actor, the main character of this music video, is a good friend of ours, actually a super talented drummer. And I know what I'm saying because he was able to replace our drummer long, long ago for a couple of shows and it was amazing. We're still friends and he's gonna be part of this music video! Hi. Hi. <laughs> one time it happened in the history of Infected Rain and we really needed to find someone only for one tour and yeah we became super close friends. <laughs> He's a really nice guy. We really liked to work with him and when we asked him to join uh, the um, video shooting uh, and be the main character, he agreed right away. Adrian, thank you so much for agreeing that day when we were making it uh, obvious and we were discussing it. Uh, in a way somebody, I don't re even remember who proposed it, but somehow we decided that we will ask him. He said yes right away, which made us super happy because he's a good looking guy. I think he did a great job too. And he's also our friend and he believes in our music and we knew that he will just do his best, you know, uh, in his abilities. He's not a real actor, so, you know. Uh, 
Еще ближе? Еще? Hello. Hello, everybody. Адриан подходит. Может, ты немножко вот так вот вниз сначала, нет, э, Вадим? Я? Или он ушел? Я, я, да. слушаю, я смотрю. А что, а, что не знаю, может быть, у Лены сначала вот такой взгляд, нет? Смотри, вниз тоже неплохой из-под лобби. Да, вот так вот, вот. классно. Так Руся сильно. сильно отвернул э, свет. Чуть-чуть, да. Вот так, ага. и Руся тоже. И Руся. Приготовились. Камера есть. И начали. Ставим руку. И Адриан, ставь. О, Сережка, тоже вставай. Слушай, кто я с ним? Пожалуйста, встань в упор, пожалуйста, прими. You know what? I have four more days to be here in Moldova, and I'm super tired. I am still jet lagged. Don't ask. And I have four days to do so much more. Why is it only 24 hours in a, in a day? I need 36 minimum. <sighs> Go away. Um, after filming the second day, the performance with the band, um, I got sick. Next day I woke up with fever and very swollen tonsils. And it was in, in, uh, in we're living in the era of COVID, so of course I was very scared and uh, terrified actually by the fact that I might have um, gotten the, the plague, you know, uh, because we had people there and, you know, probably my immune system was low because of my traveling and so much work. It was so challenging. My fever was extremely high. I believe I was sick, sick for four or five days um, but like I was down it's been a while since I had problems with my tonsils I was born with very big tonsils which is something that you can have hereditary um, they were never removed in my childhood and I was never able to do that later on because of my singing career um, it's not that it affects your voice but you have to take a very big break because you just can't use your throat your Your whole machine is uh, recovering, right? So I never was able to fix that. And out of nowhere, it just happened. I believe I inhaled a lot of um, air conditioning, cold air, and, um, from, and fog machine was there. And a lot of things were happening at the same time. And I was just going and going and going and working nonstop. Uh, because I traveled to work, you know, I traveled to Moldova to work with the band. So it, it was just a lot of pressure and a lot of uh, non-stop going. So my body was like, pause, you need a break. <laughs> I am very thankful for my friends that took care of me and helped me recover super fast when I was there. I couldn't be part of much more after. Now, the main character here is lost between two worlds. And the way we delivered this specific um, meaning, this specific atmosphere, was through um, having one world where there's a party and this main character that doesn't feel like he belongs there. He doesn't, he's there, but he's not there. And he can understand that, but he cannot explain it. He cannot really do anything about it. And the other world being where the performance, the band is with all the souls, the lost souls trapped uh, behind the screens. Um, and the cocoon itself, this little like inner demon, maybe even the main character's um, demon or worst nightmare, trying to come out, trying to have a solution to this you know state of mind this like he's he's lost he he's uncomfortable he's lost he is 
unhappy. So this demon throughout the whole music video um, is coming out from the cocoon, is trying to come out and release him and show him that the way and, and change him, right? So this is the main meaning of the music video, which I think resonates so well with the album itself, the cover itself, and the lyrics for Postmortem. So uh, the third day of filming happened when I was already gone. I was home and my boys filmed it without me. Thank you for your help, Vitik. Doing great, doing great. Uh, we also filmed everything in one day, all the episodes with the main character with Spiderweb and then we had to clean the whole room from Spiderweb and film everything with the party. It's, uh, it was tricky, it took a lot of time to put all the Spiderweb on the walls. We spent the previous day, the whole day, doing this thing. And then in the morning we started filming uh, the episode with uh, Spiderweb. Так это два разных языка. Один язык романской группы, другой славянской группы. Хули так похоже, то есть романской группы, что они не могли, блядь, уже буквы Д сделать. Ну, Т. Русские? Нет. Ай-йо-йо. Вот что здесь происходит? Опа. А, и что там происходит? Там людюшки заняты. А, блин. Что за группа? Твой фанат. Что за группа такая? Я фанат твой. Вот такая вот есть группа. Фига себе. Не, он смотрит на на типа лежащего человека грубя на диване. И надо какой-то клинышек. Сейчас что-то подставить. Сейчас несу. Все, Все, надо, 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 надо. Все здесь. Все здесь. Все здесь. 
Бля, я, честно говоря, думаю, что лучше снять это все цельным. Хуя, сорвал. А потом полезем заново и отдельно слив еще раз снимем. Можно даже перебивку сделать. Он начинает сливать. Может быть. Или там, если не получится первый раз. Не, не, он должен просто потянуться и оборвать кадр. Нет, пусть пару раз подойдет, пару дублей снимем, как он подходит. Без срыва. А это замену замерзла. Да, цены. Главное, не сними, что там есть еще одно окно. Да. Посматриваю слегка. Потом тебе с двумя руками хватай. Да, да, да. Может быть даже знаешь как? Слушай, накрой камеру этой тряпкой. Это будет переходик у нас такой, нет? Класс. Да, классно. Да. Не видно пока не в сторону. Да, да. и не камеры. прямо на камеру, а так наверх, чтобы Что? он закрыл объектив. Закрыть объектив, да. Ой, бля, ну ладно. Хорошо. Сложная задача. Надо еще выйти. Нет, надо еще выйти. Не прямо, не прямо. Вот ты прочувствуй, реально. Вот ты подходишь к окну, и ты хочешь сорвать ткань. Сорви ткань. Камера есть? Начали. Это хорошо было. И там, когда пролетает ткань, там уже дает кап. Да. Давай посмотрим плоть. Хорошо? Что скажете? Да. Да. Охуенно. Хорошо. По-моему, это лучше было. Ага. Now the, the the whole idea comes from Vidic. Um, he is the producer of this music video, and uh, the whole idea came from him. I was walking everywhere with you know a pen and a sheet of paper the way, where I was writing all the ideas, everything. I was thinking every day, every hour, every minute about this music video and how to make it beautiful. What? I wanted to make something not just the band uh, performing in front of the camera. I wanted to make it a little bit old school, which is uh, a storyline and something like that. I wanted to make a short movie uh, out of this uh, music video. Еще я думал, как вот такой слайдером снять момент, где он сидит тоже на диване, и вот такое вот плавное движение через него, вот так вот сюда. А, вот это можно. Because I really like it. I, it's part of me. I really like filmmaking and uh, movies in general and all the visual effects and uh, everything connected to this. And I was like, it's a perfect chance to work on it. Я думаю, так отъехать, чтобы было попало и кресло, и часть дивана. Вот кресло есть сейчас, чтобы было видно, что и часть дивана. Так, если Хотя бы еще вот так вот, да? Мне нужно так, что если здесь сидят люди, чтобы они не были видны в первом кадре. А мы это вообще не сможем уже сделать. Фу, блин, я чуть перестал. Тут есть диван. Сядь только для нас ровно. Он будет сидеть ровно, потому что они все расслаблены, я хочу, чтобы он... И вот мы два метра где-то вот сюда отъезжаем. И тоже не, не слабо отъезд получается. Нормально. Нормально так. Да? Возьми, посмотри в камеру и вот так потяни лицо. Вот прямо в глаза потяни. Вот, да. Не, потяни назад, обратно как были. На, на, на лоб. Ну вот так, с боков поставь. Вот. И спились чуть-чуть. Так, что у нас дальше по... Дальше я думаю, что вот он может стоять там где-то у шкафа, уже потом залез, лицом к шкафу, а смотрел в эту сторону, а снимать отсюда. Ага. Это уже статично или уже... Кстати, потому что надо будет тоже повторить. You know, the, the party scenes with the main character were filmed in the same room where uh, we filmed the cocoon itself. And uh, then we cleaned everything and continued with the party. Alena, Ira, Vadim. Привет. 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 Привет
Такой контраст снимаешь здесь, вот камера, какой бардак. Сюда. Камера есть? Ну что? Огонь. А, сейчас музычку. Все, Бонасяра, дом на ли? Бонасяра. Фильму. Хай, спунничка. Че пачку мини, бей, че пачку мини. Вау, вот это наркоманский триф. Было очень круто и, по-моему, достаточно. Все, всем спасибо огромное за сегодня. After we filmed everything with this party, we just could uh, party for real, you know. We we brought some booze and we just hang out until the morning there. I left a little bit there earlier, but the boys were hanging out there. And the same decorations with all these uh, sofas and uh, books and so on. And the only thing is we brought, um, they brought a lot of um, uh, furniture uh, from their house. Uh, everybody brought something from their homes. Uh, I brought my armchair, uh, my um, bookshelves and some other stuff. Carpet, for example, uh, it's from my kitchen. <laughs> uh, and yeah, everybody brought something. So we wanted to make like the room where actually could leave somebody. The fun f a fact about uh, that room is that there's a couch where everybody's hanging out and that couch is iconic now. We used it in other music videos. We used it uh, in the music video Me Against You. It's the couch where we are sitting and playing video games. in Orphan Soul. It's the couch where um, the little girl is sitting and drawing and the couch where her parents are there. I'm done drowning in his tears of sorrow Suffocating in his endless hollow Suffocating Burning in his freezing scary Yeah, it's the same couch and now music video number three. <laughs> All I'm saying is, you guys, sometimes um, simple things like that, they make, the, make a difference. And sometimes you don't need crazy decorations to create something very unique. You can definitely use what you already have or what somebody else have in order to create something so unique. Uh, depends on the angle you shoot, depends on the light, depends on so many things. Talking about the light, by the way, um, I believe Vidic is going to tell you more about how he used colors in this music video to deliver certain emotions. As you could see, maybe uh, all the people that are in the room, they're wearing some red or warm elements on them. And where they are sitting, the light is also kind of red. 
uh, but the main character uh, wears a bluish um, sweater uh, and also where he is, where he is placed, everywhere is a little bit bluish light on him. So I wanted to create this um, mood that separates him from them, that they can't see him, he is all alone and he is lost. Can I yes? These are small little things that we don't pay attention really right away, but uh, we can catch that something is different, something is going on, or that person is like taller or skinnier. Sometimes it's all about the light and how things are really put in, in perspective. When we were coming up with the idea for the album, we were thinking about how to deliver the meaning of the word itself, but also reflect the um, mood of all the songs in, in one image. You know, that's pretty challenging if you think about it. And we really wanted to make album artwork connected to uh, the whole mood of the album and maybe to have some elements of this in the music video. So we decided to film the first music video and make in the same day photo shoot for the album artwork. We did not apply to artists this time. Uh, for other um, album covers, we worked with uh, some friends and some artists. But for this one, um, we had the idea right away of um, a cocoon. And uh, I believe I came up with this idea initially and it was a little bit debated in the beginning because we didn't want to be so upfront about um, the, the meaning of ecstasy itself, which is the re reborn in, in the nature, in, in um, the, just the, the new fresh start, the, the living the old you and uh, becoming something better, more beautiful, starting from scratch in the way, right? Elena came up with the idea that we have to use a lot of spider web and I like the idea but I didn't know how to make it connected to everything, to the album name, to the mood of the song and uh, so on. I couldn't think about a better idea than a cocoon itself because I believe in changings. I believe that people can change, I believe that the world can change, I believe that we can learn and be better and learn and learn and learn constantly. So now I know so many people that did that in my life and it was a very good example for me that this is possible. So a cocoon in this uh, specific music video uh, is really connected a lot with the um, album itself as well as I a music video's idea. I'm insanely happy and thankful for everybody that was part of it and all the people that were at this party and then some of them were also the people behind the screens and the main character Ad Adrian which is our friend. I am so thankful for their work and just wanting to be part of something bigger and something fun. Um, seriously, we, we got so lucky to be surrounded by supportive people, supportive friends and family. So thank you so, so much. Everybody that's watching, I hope you guys love the result and you are proud of being part of this music video. I think that was pretty much it. Um, yeah, the obviously everybody can have uh, its own idea about the music video and about the lyrics uh, and it's good like that. It's good like that because we didn't want it to be super obvious. I don't like when you know you just follow word by word uh, lyrics. It's cool when you uh, start creating something uh, that um, fits the mood of the uh, 
whole song, lyrics and so on. And we wanted to include you and your imagination uh, while watching the music video. If you didn't have the chance to watch this music video yet, it's going to be in the descriptions and maybe somewhere over here. I don't know. The Our vision and our um, idea behind this music video was mainly a parallel world where the same version of us can be somebody else, somebody better, or somebody just different, right? Um, so if you feel stuck, if you feel unhappy, if you feel depressed, sometimes the answer is right in front of you. We are very uh, happy and thankful for everybody who supported us watching this video and promoting it and sharing and uh, for all the feedback that we receive about this single. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed the music video itself. Uh, thank you again for watching. Thank you everybody who was part of it. I'm super thankful for my band for being so creative and working as a team on this music video. And not only, we will uh, be back soon with a lot of new material, a lot of new stuff. Um, you can order Ecdesis link is gonna be in the description of course um and yeah thank you for watching don't forget to smile was a way bigger uh, piece actually and I was inspired and in a way pushed to write this because of a specific person in my life that I cared about with all my heart and seeing this person lost and having wrong priorities in life and wrong um, virtues in life broke my heart. Um, it was so difficult to um, show that to that specific person, to explain that to that specific person. I think certain things in life we need to learn by ourselves and no matter how much our loved ones or family try to explain or teach us, certain things just need to be learned by making mistakes or by making our own experiences in life. And this specific person and this in this specific um, world of postmortem um, is you know it's the person that is losing the value of the priceless emotions and uh, relationship with people instead putting values on materialistic things. That's why I wrote, all the things you have don't belong to you. They don't belong to this world. They are not a part of you. Because when we die, when we are done with this life, we cannot take with us our car, our phone, our couch, our beloved TV, or whatever it is that you love so much. Uh, it is nice to have nice things, but never to put them a priority, especially uh, above um, certain people or certain, you know, emotions. So I was in deep pain when I wrote these lyrics because of the inner fight where I was trying to find the right way to save this person and or to save people in general that are so lost in this materialistic world and you know whenever they go somewhere they try to take the, their things with them instead of trying to take people with them and to take memories good memories with them you know um so yeah so specific specific lines right here a hitchhiker is a lost soul is a soul and a person that didn't find its home didn't find its place in this world 
and the reason being because the the values of life are just set so wrong that you can't find your home you're never happy with what you have you always want more or you want different you think that what other people have is better you know instead of actually seeing what you already have and what you already achieved and then wh where are you trying to go um, I asked this question throughout the song a couple of times because I'm trying to get the attention to maybe maybe we don't have to constantly go somewhere maybe we don't have to move all the time maybe we have to pay attention to what surrounds us and see the beauty in it yes don't get me wrong sometimes it is time to move on and we have to move on and we have to go somewhere but not constantly not all the time because maybe the reason that you didn't find what makes you happy is because you have to um, work on yourself instead and you have to um, take a look in your inner world instead of finding flosses in the place you live or the people you're surrounded with, you know?